Hello and welcome to Local Flavours with James Campbell Tours. Now today we're in the wonderful and historic Fife fishing village of Pittenweem. Pittenweem takes its name from the old Celtic, the place of the cave, and this is the cave in question. Legend has it that a 7th century Christian preacher preached the word here. The cave is very long and dark, but it is said he had a glowing left arm so he could see his sermons and his words. The story of the 7th century St Philan is a fascinating legend, but the more probable story is that of an early 12th century abbot named Philan. This Philan presided over the Culdees, a powerful sect of early Christian church in Scotland. The oldest recorded spelling of Pitt and Weem is found in a charter dating to 1100 during the reign of King Edgar. In it, he granted Pitt and Weem to the early Christian sect, the Chaldees. The cocoa tree here in Pitt and Weem has been hand-making chocolate for over 14 years. Follow me in. High Street is a lovely local street with cafes, shops and galleries. Most of the buildings here date to the 17th century and in the month of August the town puts on a much loved Pit and Weem Arts Festival. G.H. Barnet and Sons is a local artisan baker's. As well as fabulous artisan breads, cakes and pastries, Barnet and Sons also make great scones. Mm. Kelly Lodgings was built in the late 16th century as a townhouse for the Earls of Kelly. Situated in the centre of the High Street, this house adds much character to the town. By 1651 it was occupied by Robert Smith, the town clerk of Pitt and Weem. In the spring of that year, King Charles II visited the town, rallying support to join the Scottish army to fight against Oliver Cromwell. The king was welcomed into the house, where a table was set, covered with one of Lord Kelly's finest carpets. Pit and Weem is the main fishing port for the region of Fife. The fish landed here as haddock and cod, but the big catches would be lobster, langoustine and crab. Now if you look over the harbour here, you can see the beautiful Gabled End House. This is a 17th century house. And tucked in behind these fishing boats is the much loved local fish market. The oldest part of the harbour was built in the second half of the 16th century. Further repairs and improvements were made in 1702, 1723, and 1771. Now, a fabulous local restaurant here in Pittenween is the Dory Bistro and Gallery. Now, let's take a look over here. The seafood landed in this market here is served in this restaurant here. Now you can't get fresher than that. Thank you for joining us on our visit to Pitt and Weem. Join us again next time for more local flavours across Scotland.